To me, art is bringing something into the world that was not originally in it. It is you as an individual creating something that you imagined and bringing it into the world. I was doing digital art and traditional art, but this was a whole new medium to bring these characters to life even more in a 3D way. So I think bringing my characters to life in doll form was what really motivated me to actually try to learn this craft. When you come down to it, it's the same process every time that I make the dolls and I build off of skills that I already know. I usually take Monster High or Ever After High dolls and you just take off their factory paint faces. Uh, it looks pretty bad. And then you uh, cut their hair out and you have to pop their heads off and uh, I'll do the face, add gloss to the lips and eyes. Sometimes I add 3D lashes, which I just buy from the dollar store and cut them down to size. Then I'll make the clothes. In making your own clothes, I find that there's a lot of freedom. You can customize all you want. A lot of times I'll actually rip apart the clothes the doll actually comes in and make my own patterns and adapt them. A lot of it is very tedious. It can be really frustrating, but I know what the end product is gonna be. I know that it's all gonna come out in the end. And I feel like every time that I make a doll, I'm getting better and better at what I'm doing. And a lot of times when I make a new doll, it becomes my new favorite doll. I can take a base design and make so many different things with it. And that's part of what's so fun about this process. I actually have made several dolls as gifts for friends, and when they see their character in real life, it makes them so happy. And it's really amazing seeing people's reaction and knowing that you made that. The one that's currently in the Czech Republic is probably my favorite doll that I've ever made, but she's now in a happy new home, and that makes it worth it.